Kia ora and welcome to Grilled Number One. Yay! His name is Stefan, also known as Pumice. My name is Inda. And uh, Grilled is where musicians fire first. Stefan, please fire first. Fire first? <laughs> is that ask the first question? Yes, yeah. please. Um, do you know how many bands I've been in? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I've been focusing on Permis. And um, no, but quite a few. Mm. Um, like between, between, you know, one and 12. Mm. I, I was hoping you'd know because there's probably, I don't know. Oh, um, right. I'm one of those people that are always in too many bands. Ah, right. Oh, that's a very um, New Zealand thing to be in many bands. I don't know about too many bands, but um, to be in many bands. Do you do you like it, or do you think it's a bit annoying? Um, no, mostly I like it. Um, I've always said that it's that's kind of a huge part of my social life is being in bands, because uh, I'm not always. Um, kind of guy who wants to leave the house mm. but uh so if you have practice but, you know you yeah well yeah well I, I seem to manage to be in lots of bands with uh, and hardly ever having to practice <laughs> well the beauty of being part of many bands is that there's great collaboration um mm. and um there's great sort of barter and exchange of ideas and exchange of you know stuff yeah including a yeah. great social life so yeah you know so. um yeah absolutely uh i make music by myself and that's quite internal mm. and i make music with other people and that's very external mm. is it i've mm. never thought about it i you know when you get interviewed you start saying things that you've <laughs> never thought about before it's probably true. Mm. Um, going back to your music as the one-man band that Permis is, I mean, I know that sometimes you play with other people yep. as Permis, like pa- Pam McIntyre or, um, you know, Colin Rowe or Rao, I don't know. Um, could you... Who were they? they were <laughs> well, they were people you played with, apparently. Who? <laughs> Pam McIntyre. Pam McIntyre? Yeah, but maybe not. I've never heard of <laughs> Pam McIntyre. Well, then you didn't play with them, but it, I thought there was an album. And, um, Pam McIntyre. But you know, you've played with so many people, that's why. I've never heard of Pam McIntyre. But never mind. <laughs> that's Take cool, me. But... It's really cool, yeah. <laughs> well, do you know, when Pumice first started, I was 16, and it was me and my friend Sugar John. And we formed it as a duo. And ever since that, it's mutated. And there's been pumice that was just him, mm. as well as pumice that's just me. It, it, it's never been just me, even mm. though most people think it is. Mm. Um, and that's why I always say pumice is a band, it's not mm. a solo project. Even if it is just me, it's a, it's, it's yeah. a band, you know? Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. No, no, please do. You know, please do. Uh, especially if I get it wrong. Um, take me through Trophy. Um, trophy? Yeah. The, um, the, the, well, the track, yep. which is um, Puny, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, just, just, is it, is it in memory of somebody or something? It's kind of an award that I gave myself for surviving some trauma. Um, uh, the, you know, your standard broken heart business. Um, and actually the whole album Puny is kind of a trophy of processing uh, some things that were very difficult. And so then, yeah, there was an instrumental and I called it Trophy and it's kind of majestic. and. 
proud. It is very epic. Mm. It's very epic mm. and um, it's quite grandiose mm. and flamboyant. I mean, you know, um, sometimes you listen to something and you go, oh, lo-fi sound and blah, blah, but not with your music. There's something quite flamboyant, eloquent, and, and there's a great clarity in, in many of your songs or, or, or tracks. Um, and Trophy is one of them and this this really uh, strong organ presence obviously and not just because it's organ and you know associated with church and solemn music mm. but because it's a bit like um you know this very strong sun in winter you know, kind of thing mm. is, uh, you know being on top of a mountain in the crisp winter sun you know? well <laughs> I've so, never been called flamboyant. <laughs> well, no, it's yeah, right. it's interesting because um, the sound, the sound is um, even though it's supposedly lo-fi. I don't like that term, but it's no, me neither. It would be probably described um, mm. as such as something very um, Odyssey-like. Mm. I think uh, Muruparatu. Mm -hmm. I thought. It was quite hypno hypnotic. And, yeah. I know what album that's off, but I'm actually not sure which, which that. number that is. It's quite a, is it an abstract, rumbly, organ dirge? Hypnotic sort of yeah. progression. Yeah. And the duration, you're not shy with how long uh, your tracks or songs can be. Yeah. It's, it's, you're not shy. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I like really short songs and I like really long songs and songs seem to have a natural length really mm. to me and yeah I hate it if you have to edit down a, a mm. song that has a natural length to fit it in somewhere I hate that yes and, and it's, is it is it would it be a sort of um I don't know if you're an, an improviser I mean you obviously are because you, you know, work on music so of course you probably jam with people and yourself um, <laughs> sounded odd but never mind um, but do you do you just let the track or the song reach a sort of natural evolution or yeah well it's not even letting it, it just that's just what happens mm. yeah you start playing and, um, th and things like Murapara that probably is if, if, from memory that's probably pretty much just an improvised moment um, where some nice things were happening and you let them happen. It's um, common sense mm. to me. Mm. That's the same with, um, so forgive me for the pronunciation because I don't know how to pronounce it, but Kratchag uh, Nan Kraub. I, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Right. It's, like, it's like Gaelic language. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's an old, well, it's, a, it's an old Scottish song. And kind of, yeah, from um, going back to Trophy, which those songs are from the yeah. same time, I was listening to lots of solo bagpipe records um, at the time, and I am half Scottish, so there is a something in my blood that simmers when I hear that stuff um, but that song with the unpronounceable title is um, well it's a cover of a, a song called Skyboat Song which is kind of a corny old song that lots of what they call singing shortbread tins will mm. do you know those sort of corny highland singers mm. but I think but when I decided to cover it I looked it up and, it, and the melody relates back to an older rowing song which mm. is the, what that title is so I just gave it that title mm. but also because the last word looks a bit like crab mm, yeah. Um, yeah. it was like that was a sign that I had to use it mm. Yes, and it's quite it's quite abrasive, and it's just you know of course, and if yeah, if it's about crab, I mean you know they're just. Well, there's another song on that album called "Hey Crab Crabs." Yes, and, was, and they book in the album, so, so it's too perfect. 
Um, and, and then that, the fact that the noise and um, sort of abrasive sound on that and pronounceable sort of, I mean, it's perfectly mm. pronounceable, it's just like conduit. Yeah. So that's my problem. But um, you find it on Matata and you found it, you, um, you find it on Crowded Scum, mm. the, the, this, this I, I, I think, yeah. um, this sort of noise and um, staunch, there's something very staunch, you know, that's just something, I'm here, I'm playing this, um, you know, this, this, something very strong. Thank you. Um, seeing as we're in New Zealand Musician Offices, the, the Crowded Scum title is a, it came from a, a, a day driving to Wellington with uh, Andrew Tolley and Bob Cardy, prominent New Zealand musicians, uh, where we were just mixing up New Zealand band names to pass the time. <laughs> And so Crowded Scum is one of those, which the, the inverse of that is Proud, scu- uh, proud House. <laughs> crowded Scum, Proud House. Do they know? They know uh, now. They know now if they're watching this. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you think there's a, um, not a, a kinship with um, bands such as uh, Perubu or um, Captain, Bef- Captain Befart? Because uh, I, I, when I was I was listening to um, Fort or I Bath or Northland or the Dushworth Giving, I really thought about Peribu, you know, quite often. Like, yeah, I love times. that band. I was talking about them the other day to someone who you know hadn't heard them, and I was just like, oh, they're one of the greatest bands that ever was. <laughs> um, yeah, really special band and and be part as well. And I yeah, you know, I have learnt a lot from those people mm. about rhythm and texture and uh, that kind of anything can be a pop song. Like those those guys are always making songs, but they can be really stretched and abused and mm. uh, so yeah I probably, I've been listening to those people since I was a teenager so and the energy and impulse um, which which is beyond the actual genre I mean, there's not even really a genre but, you know mm. it's just <clears throat> um, a um, and an angst and anger is something that's, uh, but not just anger actually, no, it's just more energy and impulse. Do you like um, David Thomas's um, site projects? Have you uh, been interested in but that? Yeah, I, I did have some of his solo records and I liked them, but I didn't, um, I did, yeah, I really liked them, but I didn't really connect with them mm. deeply. Um, I enjoyed them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I saw him live years ago um, in um, in '96, I think, and he was doing this very mellow, um, you know, those very mellow songs, and um, it was it was really like accordion stuff. Mm, yes, yeah. and it was really really lovely. But you know, I'm a bit like you uh, on that. I much prefer the Peribu um, mm. work. So yeah. Have you kept up with their latest stuff, Peribu? Because I haven't really. No, not really. Mm. No, no, not quite. Mm. No. And um, oh yeah, uh, could you take me through um, Greenock too? Greenock. Yeah. Another. Oh, you like the organ ones, don't you? Well, no, it's funny. Cause, but I think the organ. I mean, uh, I, I don't always like um, the organ, but I I find. The, your use of the organ is quite stirring mm. and, 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 and quite distorted. Yeah. Um, nice. Unexpected. So I'm interested in that and, and, and I just really, really, yeah. really um, like that. That's cool. Yeah. It's, uh, um, Greenock is another Scottish song. Uh, Greenock is the town in Scotland where my mother's family was from. Mm-hmm. 
uh, just just sneak let's go uh, and that's all what can I say I don't know yeah a lot of <laughs> yeah that you know? <laughs> <laughs> my organ is uh, an uncomfortable but beautiful and meaningful bed you know mm. <laughs> and set of 6662 set of 666 piano song yeah yeah, well, yeah the, well that's the thing that the piano is very eerie but the back vocals are quite are very gravelly yeah and quite grumpy in a way mm. and again it's there's um Rhonda there's just um yeah flamboyance I don't know it's funny that nobody nobody ever told you flam you know um that your music was actually flamboyant quite surprised <laughs> I'm very disappointed that. that's nice <laughs> I thought I would be part of a list of of oh yeah of flamboyance <laughs> no mostly people <laughs> say lo-fi quirky those stupid things yeah. Miserable. No. no, but that's silly. You shouldn't listen to oh, them. Sometimes it is miserable. I agree with that one. There's a, a, there's a lot of misery in that music. At yeah. times, there's a lot of joy in yeah. it too. Yeah. And often they're at, covered in spiders. Yeah. At its most miserable, I mean, it, I kind of turn it into a joke because it's so miserable, which is really good medicine if you're feeling miserable. It's not actually fully miserable. You're trying very hard, but it's not. <laughs> well, that's no, well, that's kind of the point too. Is you take the misery and you laugh at it and feel better. Well, on that note, <laughs> get good day, everybody. Kia ora, Stefan. Adios, salut. Thank you.